What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Sneakerhead213. Before I move forward, as always, hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Empresario317. Let's get started. So today we have a really cool review. I'm really excited about this review because I've been waiting on these shoes to be delivered since before Christmas. And you know how it gets with the delivery process, it gets really hectic and orders get pushed back because of the holiday. So um, long story short, um, one of my fellow longtime subscribers on Instagram hit me up and we did a deal and we did a pretty good trade. I traded the two size 10 and a half of the, of the Yeezy uh, Yeez Reels um, colorway for this shoe right here. So this is actually the Air Jordan 1 um, in the Obsidian UNC colorway. Um, this is one of the uh, Jordans that dropped back in August. I missed out on it and the reason being is because I just slept on, on, on this pair. I didn't think the quality was there based on the pictures only. Um, as you can see guys, I mean from these, the quality is definitely there. Um, shout out to my boy Chente uh, Nasty. Uh, follow him on Instagram. I'll put his link down below uh, for all your, you know, sneaker needs uh he is a reseller and a collector like myself so uh without further ado let's get started on this review so um this is pretty much one of the colorways that i had my eye on ever since like the very beginning of the year when i saw that these were going to be released i had my eye on this um i really like the quality i see on the shoe uh this quality reminds me of the bread quality and I don't say that as an exaggeration or just to my, look, make my friend look good. Um, he did include the receipt on both pairs. So if you're interested, let me know. Um, here is the other pair as well with the Shoe Palace receipt. So DM me. I'll give you a good deal. I got a good deal. So I'll give you guys a good deal. Um, you know, spread the love. Um, but yeah, so this is one of the colorways I really liked. One of the first things I want to talk about before anything is the colorway. So this colorway on the toe box overlay here is obviously that obsidian color there. The laces that are on the shoe currently are the obsidian uh, laces. This is the university blue, um, the UNC blue is what they call it. Um, you also see colors of that um, the, on the toe box. It's a sail white color um, and as well as the tongue, obviously the tongue you know, the colors don't complement each other because it's different materials, but it's meant to be a sale color. Um, and it actually has a Nike air branding there in the obsidian background and with the Nike logo being that UNC blue. Um, the inner liner, is this is what it looks like. Um, this is the shoe tree. That's what it looks like. These are the stock laces. Um, I really like the inner liner of the shoe because it's like a nylon material very very uh or like a yeah it's like a nylon material it's very cushioned very well um you know very good support is what i'm trying to say on your ankles so you don't feel like you know you're stepping on you know your standard air jordan one where it just feels like you're stepping on cardboard <laughs> or you have like cardboard around your ankles um and then you also see some of that obsidian colorway up here and on this side as well as on the Nike swoosh on both sides of the shoe. Um, and then we get to one of my favorite parts of the shoe. Right here on the midfoot, you see that really nice creasing and tumbled uh, sail leather. Very, very good quality. Really, really surprised on the quality of these. Um, I don't think the pictures online did it justice. Right here, the same way, very good quality. And on the toe box, it's just really, really good quality. It reminds me of the Bread One quality on the you know on the parts of where the leather is tumbled um then back here we get where the air jordan wings logo is screen printed on there and here on the ankle the leather isn't as good it's more so closer to standard basic leather but here around the ankles the leather is very tumble as you can see it creases especially on this side look at that that wrinkle it reminds me of the Air Jordan 1 breads that came out in 2016 or 2017. Um, someone correct me. I can't remember the exact year. Um, but yeah, it's been hard to find uh, Air Jordan 1 with similar quality. And I think this one's pretty close. Um, here's the other one. You can see the leather there. Let me actually pull the shoe tree up. See that leather, how it tumbles on the toe box. The overlay leather is standard basic leather. But it's kind of interesting to me where they added, you know, quality leather on interesting areas like the toe box and then the midfoot and then up here around the ankles you see that look how it creases really good quality um 
I know that when you when there is a GR shoe like this one, this one was a GR. It was pretty easily accessible. Like I said, I was just busy that weekend. These came out, and uh, sometimes depending on the number of pairs in production, some pairs may not come out with just you know as good as quality as these. There may be some that have bad quality or you know just a bad bunch. Um, like for example, these even have better quality leather look at that i mean let me pull out the look at this guys that is super tumble it's very very nice and creasing and it feels soft to the touch same here i mean look at this really good quality very soft smells like an air jordan one i mean look at this guys super super soft to the touch you guys get the point um but yeah that's pretty much it these are available two size 10 um if you buy the both as a bundle i'll give you a bundle deal if you buy them separately i'll still give you a deal like i said i got a good deal on them so i'll give you know the next man a good deal you know just to show my appreciation for the business um and i like to if someone gives me a good deal i like to return that favor to the next buyer um so Long story short, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. That's the main thing I want to get out of this video. What do you think about the quality of these? Have you ever had them in hand? Have you seen them in hand? What did you think about the quality? I really think these are one of the best Air Jordan 1s after, you know, the, the breads and the Royals. I think the breads were the best quality I've ever had in hand. You know me, I'm big on quality. These are close to it. Um, I haven't had the shattered backboards in hand, so I can't say that. Um, but I'm very, very surprised and impressed on the quality of these hat. Another thing is, let me know what you guys think about this deal. Like, did he get an upper hand? Did we both pretty much break even, you know, with regards to value? I look at StockX numbers, um, and they're pretty much about the same. Um, but I really love that blue um, and that universe, uh, that city and that university view uh, blue. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace.